Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading for the beautiful sign of Gemini. That being said, do take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest of it aside. Also, if ever you do have any questions after this reading, you would like to have a quick answer, please. We have live streaming every single night from 9 Eastern Standard Time all the way to midnight. So if you do, you know, have some questions, you want some answers, please do come and join us. That's all we do for three hours straight is answer your questions. Also, if you do enjoy the channel, we have not yet clicked that subscribe button or that like button, please do click those buttons. And I do thank you so very much. And uh, let's begin this reading. So these are readings where this one is a reading for love. So this is your love weekly reading for the beautiful sign of Gemini. I'm using two different tarot decks and I'm finishing it off with an oracle deck. So here we go, please. Spirit, what is going on for our friend Gemini? What is going on in love with our friend Gemini? Please, Spirit, give me some clarification. What is going on? Any blessings, any beautiful blessings, any challenges? What is going on? Please, Spirit. Please, Spirit, enlighten me and give me that clarification. Let's remove our two decks over here. So one is for the ending, the other one is for clarification. Here we go. We have, I'm going to be taking out eight cards. I have the Ace of Swords. I have the Death. I have the Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. I also have the Moon. I have the Nine of Pentacles. I have the Two of Swords. What is going on, beautiful souls, Gemini? And I have the Empress. Okay. So, I have to say here, I feel like it's, it just might be breaking time is what I'm seeing here. I'm sorry, my dear friend, Gemini. And I know that this is not going to be for everybody. So just, you know, as I said, if it resonates. Um, but what I'm seeing into the cards here is really quite clear. We're feeling stuck. We're feeling stuck into a cage. We don't have our freedom anymore. We don't really know where to go. And this is as much emotionally as it is um, physically, like I, I feel like we're not able to go out to do what we used to do. I feel like we are we're having some kind of, um, I'm not going to say control issues, but we're just not feeling ourselves anymore. We have changed. The situation has changed and we're not happy into this anymore. We're lacking. We're lacking of love. There's something that is missing that we need to find in order to liberate ourselves again, in order to make ourselves free. I have the moon over here, which is clearly telling me that there is something that is unseen. And you're walking towards it. You do not know what this is yet. You're going to find out into the following weeks what exactly this is. But there is definitely something that is going on that you need to know about. It's something of, um, I'm going to say, a revelation. I'm not going to say that it's... Um, is something, you know, really, really bad, but I'm going to say that you are going to be getting some type of information, some type of revelation um, into the negative. I don't feel like you are necessarily going to appreciate this message that's going to be coming towards you. That being said, I feel also that I have over here the Five of Pentacles. I feel like there's been some fighting, but I feel like we're tired of fighting. We don't want it anymore. What we truly want, I feel, is an ending. We want some new beginnings. And I'm seeing that over here with the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is all about analyzing. This is what you guys, or one of you guys anyways, are doing right now into this relationship. You're trying to figure out if this is the best solution, if this is the only solution. Because we're unhappy, because we're feeling caged, because there's like a little lack of trust. We don't quite know what is going on over here. And we will find out, but not right away. We don't want to fight anymore. We have those endings. We've lost our power. We just have, we have too much upon our backs. And I feel like we don't want to move forward with this anymore. I feel like it's just a little bit too much. There's a need to make a decision. So the decision is not yet made. I feel like it's in the making right now. This is what you're trying to discover, you or your partner. I feel like this decision I feel like everybody knows what this the, this decision should be, but we don't want to face it right now, which is why 
We don't want to face our answer, which is why we're not moving forward with it. So when you will be ready to face that answer, when you will be ready to move on, then you will take your decision. Let's go and get a little bit of clarity over here. I just feel like somebody in this relationship, or maybe both of you guys, are just not ready to move on. So you're still kind of holding on to something that's a little bit half half alive in this relationship. I don't feel like there's really much left here. I feel like there's some some secrets. I feel like we're stuck. I feel like we're caged. I feel like we want some new beginnings, but we just don't know how to go and grab those new beginnings. Spirit, please do give me some clarity for Gemini. Spirit, please, I need some clarity on Gemini. Please do give me that clarity. Gemini, love for September. Please give me that clarity. Here we go. I have the Eight of Wands over here, but it's in a reverse position, which is telling me that we're tired of fighting. We're tired of standing our ground. It's something that we just don't want to do anymore. We feel as though it's going to be a little bit useless, perhaps. We're tired of not speaking. We're tired of ignoring you know, each other or even ourselves or the way that we do feel. So this is truly about leaving. It's about leaving something behind. It's about knowing that it's necessary. It's about making that choice, making that choice in life. The lovers making a choice into your love life. Is there still a little bit of love that is there? If so, can it be salvaged? That is the grand question that is necessary within your relationship right now. This is about maybe if you do want to stay into, into the relationship, if you do want to free yourself, if you do want to turn all of these cards around, Maybe a a little bit of water into your wine. Maybe a little bit of compromise could be necessary here. A little bit of choosing your fights. Not um, not anyone. Let's not be too vulnerable. Let's not feel too attacked. Let's just choose whatever is important where we need to stand our ground. But let's not get over emotional over everything. Let's go and see what a spirit has as a message for you over here. So, please, spirit, spirit, please do give me a message. Spirit, please do give me a message. What does Gemini have to look out for? Please, spirit, give me that message. What is Gemini um, having to look out for? What does Gemini have to do? My dear friend, Gemini, new beginnings are in order. New beginnings. Is this a new beginning within your relationship or a new beginning altogether? That is going to be up to do, to you to decide with your partner. But something needs to change. This cannot continue. We need to do it though. We need to do it gracefully. We need to do it with with poise. Let's not leave in a fight. Let's not you know create a lot of chaos. Let's talk. Let's sit. Let's figure things out and see where we're going. The fighting. It's not necessary. And through thought. So Spirit is saying that it is absolutely necessary right now to think. To think it through. So you don't end up making a decision that you're going to regret. It's about thinking about everything quite thoroughly. Listening to your intuition. And finding out which new beginnings are you going to choose. And this, my dear friends, Gemini, does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it did resonate. If you do have any questions, you would like a quick answer, please come and join us during our live reading tonight from 9 Eastern Standard Time all the way till midnight. Um, if you have not yet clicked that subscribe button, please do click it. And I wish you the most beautiful day. I thank you so very much for being there. Many blessings sent out your way. And I will be seeing you maybe tonight during that live reading. Have yourself a fantastic day.